Hi guys and welcome to another video. I thought that it would be fun to do a little resin with me video. So um, I've been playing around with resin for I think about three months now and it's really fun. It's one of my favorite hobbies ever. I make lots of necklaces and things and it's so cute so I thought I would show you how I do it. So for this video I'm going to show you how to make um, little necklaces. I'm actually wearing the one that I want to make right now. Um, so I use UV resin and first I'm just gonna pour in a thin layer. I'm gonna do several at, at once. Then I've got this little um, it's almost like an ice lolly stick. I think they're supposed to be for stirring coffee. And they're quite big, so I just snap them in half. And I just spread the resin around a bit. Try and pop any big bubbles if I see them. There we go. I think it's kind of nicely done. It doesn't really matter if it's not, as you'll see later. But now we're gonna put this in one of those UV nail polish drying lamps. Okay, so this has been in the light for a little while. For some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason this mold will not work with me. So here you can see that there's like a giant air bubble inside that hasn't really cured. Still, it looks weird. These two turn out all right, but this one is really weird. And that's actually what happened to me the first time. Um, I, I made three of these and they all turned out horrible. <laughs> and then I decided to fix them and make them into little ice cream candies. So what I'm gonna do is actually mix oh, the background color for these parts. Mm, dark purple, I think. So I just use um, um, <laughs> what do you call it? Acrylic paint? I just use acrylic paint. Um, I try to find like cheaper acrylic paints. Uh, sometimes work better because I just they're a little bit more fluid. And then let's have like a really light pink. Don't put too much paint in there. You can. It's easier to. Like just put just enough paint in there, not too much, and then you can always add more. Let's do red. I haven't used red before for this. Then what we're gonna do is put some resin in. If you have any like leftover resin um, from like a bottle that's almost empty. It's really easy to use it in this because you stir out all the bubbles that you might get with the last bit of the resin. Then we just stir. And then it's kind of, this is kind of just like, you have to see if it's the right consistency, if it's a little bit droopy, but not too much and shouldn't be too, um, like solid either. I suppose you just kind of have to play around with it till you think it looks kind of okay. <laughs> Might not have enough actually, but let's see. Okay, so I'm actually gonna add a little more resin. The more clear resin you use, the um, more see-through the color will be. I'm just using a little bit more because it's not enough for what I want to do. Okay, so I'm gonna make the moon pink. And just scoop it in or you pour it in or whatever you want to do and just spread it around. Oops, I'm being a bit messy, I'm spilling. Make sure you get like all the crevices covered with Pink resin. Then 
There we go, that's one. Then... I'm going for a red heart. If you're like prone to getting this stuff in your hands, um, maybe wear gloves. I never wear gloves, but I do get it on my hands all the time, so might not be the best thing. <laughs> but there you have it. Don't think I'm gonna have enough purple, but let's see how far we get. And then it's going back under the lights. Okay guys, so these have cured. Um, I hope they're okay. Um, if they're still like really sticky to the touch, that means you have to put them in longer. Uh, so I'm gonna... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm lifting these a tiny bit and I can see that there's still like wet paint underneath. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. Okay. If you can see it's like really bad, then obviously don't take them out yet. So as you can see, um, the front is still covered in wet resin. This happened last time as well. I think that these um, heavy molds just aren't right for UV resin. Um, but it's okay because for what we're gonna do, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna take them out. Uh, see, they're still all sticky, haven't cured properly. I might just be really impatient, but last time I did put them in for a really long time and still happened like this. So, this was my problem last time and I was kind of freaking out because I used a lot of resin and resin isn't uh, cheap and it totally got ruined. So what I did is I put it back like this in the light. Let me just do that now. And then I just let it cure again. Okay, so here we have the pieces. Um, they look a little bit weird. Like they look... Hold on, I'm just gonna get this one. They look like... I don't know, like they're wet? But they're not? Like if this was a fact that you were going for, it it turned out really well. But I wasn't going for it, so it just... It just looks odd. I don't... Yeah, the camera picks it up. Look how weird that looks. So this happened last time and I was like, ah, no, what am I gonna do? Um, oh, my hands are a little bit sticky now. I'm not sure if this is still sticky or just my hands. But anyway, what I did last time and what I'm gonna do this time is I decided to cover it with more resin, basically. Um, but yeah, so for that, we're gonna need these. Um, I wanted a more darker pink now you want this to be a little bit more sticky and droopy than you would want the normal resin to be because you're gonna layer it on top um, if you find that it's not, like if it's too um, smooth, you just need to add a little bit more paint and then it will get thicker. And if it's too thick, then you just need to add a little bit more resin. It's really easy. So it still has to like, it still has to be liquid, but not as liquid as the rest. Okay, so what I'm gonna use for this is actually fake sprinkles. So um, you can buy these on, like I got them on AliExpress, but you can probably buy them 
on eBay or Amazon. I believe lots of AliExpress things are also on Amazon. I'm not sure. Maybe you can't get it there, but you just have to search around uh, for fake sprinkles. <laughs> I believe I also have some sprinkles in like Disney figure shapes, but I'm not sure where because everything's a mess. Okay, I'm just gonna stick to these. So what you want to do, um, I'm gonna start with the little moon, is you take some of the thicky, sticky resin and you pour it on top and at the top you just want it to be smooth, like make sure it goes up to the edge, maybe a bit over the edge. Um, I actually quite like um, putting some up here as well. This is basically like decorating sugar cookies, uh, which I'm not that great at, uh, but I'm better at this. So if it droops a little bit, that's fine. Make sure you have something underneath though, because um, you might spill some. And then when you about reach the halfway point, you just wanna drip it a little bit. Make sure that it looks like like ice cream or what else could it be? Royal icing or something. You just drip it a little bit. And then we're gonna add some sprinkles. Actually, I like these one way more, but they were gifted to me. Um, these I bought, I did not think they would be so neo, neon, um, but they're still quite pretty. I just, I need to buy more of the other one. Now I'm just hesitant to use them. Um, so I just kind of like <laughs> sprinkle them on. If there's any that you don't like or the placement's all wrong, just get a toothpick like this. And you can kind of shift them around a little bit. Um, and you can actually kind of like pick them up and put them in because your uh, toothpick gets all sticky from resin. But we also don't waste any, which is nice. If your toothpick isn't sticky anymore, you just need to stick it in the resin again. And then you can pick it up. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna add a few more. They kind of sink away, so you might want to add more on top. This one almost looks going dark. I think it's supposed to be yellow. But... And then I just grab the light, make sure you don't shine it in the little baskets. <laughs> and yeah, got stickiness all over my hands. You just cure it quite well and then you put it under the lamp again to cure for real. This is just to make sure it doesn't like stick to your lamp because like, the bottom of my lamp um, you need to really put it in somewhere like a little drawer almost. I'll show you later um, if I remember. But um, yeah, look how cool it looks by the way. But that drawer, like the back side, is covered in resin, so it doesn't work as well anymore because I feel like that needs to reflect it. And there you go, put that back in there. Um, for this one, I think I want to use this pink. Um, maybe mix it again because sometimes um, like the paint kind of starts to clump or you see like little ship like I don't know what it is, but it starts to look funny, so then you just need to quickly stir again. Okay. I think I'm gonna kind of, maybe it's smarter to start with the top. It's okay if you get some at the back, because you're not gonna see that anyway. There we 
go. I'm gonna add some, I think I'm gonna add some of these because they just look prettier with the purple and the pink. Okay, look how pretty that looks. You see that? It like lights up because of the UV light. sprinkles or to not add sprinkles I'm not sure I also kind of like it like this like a little frosted heart um, mm, I'm gonna leave it like this try something new okay guys I think they have cured properly they seem to be all right Okay, so this one actually turned out a little bit um, more broken than I thought it would. Let me show you. Like, it looks cute, right? But if you do look here, you can see that it has like a little open because it didn't... Um, wait, let me see if you can see it. It didn't take properly, so it, it's like split there. But maybe because it's a ribbon, that's okay. Um, either way, I think it's kind of pretty. And if you use this keychain or a necklace, you would like how many times do you look at the bottom of your necklace so it's probably fine you won't notice um then we have this one which i think turned out really really cute oh i love it um obviously they still need to be sanded and then we have this one which might need to cure a tiny bit longer um which i think looks so cool i might wear this in winter like it looks like snow that's so cool Okay guys, so that was today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Um, I will make a separate video of how to make these into the most adorable little necklaces because that takes up a lot of time and this video would be so long if I did it in one video. Um, so yeah, if you're excited for that, give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you soon with more videos. If you have any questions, please do leave them down below and I'll try to answer them either in the comment section or maybe with a Q&A video if there are enough questions. And yeah. Oh, they're so cute. I just kind of, they look like cookies. Kind of want to eat them. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.